Good morning, everybody. How are we doing? I am about to do a little bit of makeup. I haven't actually, do you know what? I don't often wear makeup day to day unless I'm like going into London because I'm not going quite so much at the moment. Actually, I don't know why I'm brushing my hair because I need to put my K18 in. One of the worst feelings is when you haven't conditioned your hair. And obviously when I put this in now, I only shampoo it. So you don't use conditioner as well. And one of the worst things is the sound of hair when you try and brush it just from shampoo. Usually I'd put this in first and then brush through it instead of the conditioner. But yeah, it makes me cringe. That like, <laughs> can't be good for your hair either at all, can it? Brushing it when it's like that. We're gonna put a little bit of makeup on today and actually I've picked up a product which is so hyped and has been out of stock for so long and I've really wanted to try it for ages. So we're gonna try it together. And I've actually got a couple other bits which I haven't yet tried, which has been in my drawer for ages from like PR packages from the past because I always do the same routine when I do makeup. So I thought we could try some today and mix it up a bit. I'm a bit of a creature of habit. Ooh, something has leaked in my makeup bag. Why is this completely pink? Oh dear, I think a blush has had a bit of a moment in here. Yeah, anyway, I just thought we could do that together. But how are we doing? I actually have been a little bit unwell recently. Do you know what, I feel like since having Wynn, I just keep getting unwell and so does she. <laughs> is that a thing? I know when they go to nursery it's a thing, but obviously Wynn isn't in nursery or anything yet. And I have never had so many colds <laughs> since this winter having her here too. And she always gets them as well. And do you know what's really annoying is Niall never gets them. He's, he must have some crazy immune system, but he is always okay. And then me and Wynn are always suffering. <laughs> so you probably will be able to hear a bit of a croaky voice today. So please excuse. I'm a little bit out of breath as well. I actually just went to the gym, which... I know sounds funny to do if you're not feeling that well, but I'm on like the other end of it. So I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna wake up and just go because if I don't do it now, as the day goes on, I think is when like the tiredness hits a little bit more. So I went and just did a little bit of glutes, which was nice just to move my body again because I haven't for a few days. <laughs> do you know what as well? I was just thinking when I got out of the shower and I looked in the mirror and I was like, my boobs have never looked this small. <laughs> I know that happens because basically I am still breastfeeding but quite minimally so well very minimally now we've over the past week actually ended up doing it just once a day so she now is on more bottles and she just has her morning feed off me which I really love and I don't know how to let that one go <laughs> I know I don't have to but it feels like I'm not filling up enough anymore even for that feed. Yeah, I know obviously when you slow down breastfeeding and fully stop, your boobs just go kaput out the window. <laughs> but I'm really seeing it now. I have never seen my boobs look so small. <laughs> even before I was pregnant, I swear I had more boobs. I mean, I knew that would come, but yeah, I just got out of the shower and was like, oh, they're looking very small. They've always been small, but they're looking very small. <laughs> Do you know what? I never thought I would be still breastfeeding even just the tiniest bit at eight months. I set myself the goal of three months. If I could, when she came, obviously, because I didn't know, you know, if she would actually take to it at all. I hope she would. Then when she did, I was like, okay, I'm gonna try and do three months. And then it's just carried on. I mean, I love it, but there is a part of me that is slightly excited to fully have my body back, but I know that I will really miss it at the same time especially the morning feeds just really cuddly she just comes in bed has a little bit of milk and cuddles up but i'm also scared for the emotions as well although actually i would love to know any of you guys that have breastfed if you did it like me where you really tapered it off because i was fully breastfeeding for like maybe four months five months and then we introduced one bottle of formula and then we introduced two and then three and now four, 
but we basically really tapered it slowly and i just wonder if you do it that way do you not get like that bam hit of hormones that i've heard about and my best friend bright has talked to me about it as well where you stop and you're just like all over the shop super emotional and for at least a week i mean some people obviously more but my best friend said to me like she for a week just felt really sort of weepy and mopey and i just wonder if you do it slowly do you avoid that <laughs> probably not because the hormone i get whatever hormones going on inside me for the breastfeeding is still there but it's just very minimal so maybe it will be just like a karma kaboom of hormones i don't know I would love to know. I was thinking about that in the shower today. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, the product which I bought, which I really want to try because it is so hyped and always out of stock. So I ordered it from Cult Beauty. This one, the Drunk Elephant Bronzing Drops. I have always used by Terry CC Serum, which has that sort of tinted glow that I put on with my moisturiser before I do my makeup. And I think this is probably similar. It's much more affordable, this. And I've just heard it's really, really good. So let's see if we will replace the By Terry after like seven years. I think I've worn it. <laughs> the problem with the By Terry is it's really spenny. Oh, this is nice. Are you supposed to mix it? Because I look very dark. Oh, like orange dark as well. <laughs> Maybe you're supposed to not use quite so much. I did it a couple of squidges add a drop oh oh dear i definitely did maybe three or four <laughs> okay i've learned but i really like the formula it's very like hydrating and it's a lot more sort of can you see the glow when i do that with the light hitting it it seems a lot more not that the other one wasn't glowy but it seems even more sort of lightweight and hydrating and maybe a bit more glowy maybe just a little bit less next time <laughs> but yeah i've heard very very good things so i'm gonna start introducing this to my routine with my moisturizer so on days where i don't want to wear makeup which is most days that is probably all i would use oh <laughs> sorry you've got completely out of focus actually there was one other product i picked up because i have also heard good things about this and i really wanted like a really nice lip balm so this is the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm in like the pinky shade. It's giving, do you know what it's giving? <laughs> you know, did any of you use that Nivea, the little one that was pink and it had like a tinge, it was like the pearly one. Did you ever use that when you were younger? Cause I used it all the time and it gave you like a little bit of pink to your lips. Absolutely love that. Is that still around? Because I should definitely have got that. <laughs> but this does seem kind of similar just maybe a bit more bouge. Oh, yes, I think it actually is. It's got that like, ooh. Ooh, I really like that. Because it's it's kind of got a very, very slight peachy tint. Do you know what? I love Hayley Bieber, right? But I bought her road peptide thingy. The one that's like this, which is like everywhere. Love her but not sure about that product and everyone is raving about it and this actually seems exactly like it but i think it's cheaper this is the birthday cake shade but that one was bitty and i've heard that there was a fault where some people got bitty ones but then i've also heard from some of my friends it's just like the way it is it's almost like supposed to be exfoliating you know like that exfoliating feeling where it's like bitty it was bitty and I just didn't think that much of it. So if you've been thinking about getting the road one, get the Summer Fridays one because it, it feels so much nicer. Gives Nivea vibes. <laughs> it's smooth and it feels really like hydrating because of that. Very, very pleased with them. Anyway, let's move on to, I wanted to actually try this Charlotte Tilbury highlight. Actually, is it highlight or is it blush? I think it's blush. It is blush. So these I have used over the years, but I've never tried this Pink Gasm Sunset shade, which looks very, very nice. These are so, so nice to apply. So you like squidge this little bit, and then, oh, it looks quite dark pink with like a shimmer in it. 
the only thing is I think I should be using a beauty blender but I just don't really love love them so let's just use a little bit of finger <laughs> I dark pink I'm usually more of like a orangey peachy person no I think I like it actually they just go into your skin so nicely these beauty light ones Charlotte Tilbury do oof yeah love that but I've just done the rest of my makeup off camera so I haven't kind of done like a full shebang face today but just like a little something to give me a bit of oomph because I'm not feeling oomphy last thing I just wanted to quickly do though which I'm not 100% sure I should do to be honest I wanted to try this Charlotte Tilbury palette because it looks absolutely beautiful and I haven't tried it yet because it is quite I mean look at that absolutely stunning it's one of their new ones but absolutely stunning it's just a little bit like we're going out tonight <laughs> do you know what I actually went out on a girls night out for the first time I think it was the first time in like a year because obviously when I was pregnant I didn't really go out well there wasn't really much point in going out and I was very tired but I went out for my birthday to a thing called bongos bingo I have to show you what I brought home <laughs> if any of you saw my instagram stories oh, I'll show you in a sec when we go downstairs but um why was I saying that? Oh, I just thought of it because this is the kind of palette I would have worn for that. I just feel like it's a little bit maybe too much for someone who's not doing like, well, it's just kind of chilled makeup, but it's very beautiful. It's called the Beautyverse palette. I might actually just also slick the hair though because I've got that K18 treatment in, which you can just leave and it just leaves your hair really, really nice and lovely. I really really like that product actually if you are struggling with your hair and you've kind of got damage or you just want to really bring it to life the k18 is brilliant it's actually i have to say i do love the olaplex treatment which has been like the thing for years but i do think the k18 actually is a lot better and the olaplex one you can't leave in whereas this one you can leave in so if you want to do a slick look it's very handy for doing it because obviously the hair just holds way better when it's like this. It's supposed to be lefting. Whereas the Olaplex one I've left in before and it's, I don't actually think you're supposed to for some reason or other that it's got too much protein in or something. But also if you do leave it in, you need to wash it out. Whereas with this, you don't and it just leaves your hair really nice. So I think I might do a little bit of slick today. I can't work out whether I actually suit slick though. You know, like some people look gorgeous. My best friend Lizzie looks absolutely gorgeous with slick hair. And I wish I was one of them because it's such a easy, just looks really clean and fresh, out of your face hairstyle. But if I ever like get in a photo and I've done slick hair or like when I, I think I used to do it a little bit more in my vlogs a couple years back. And when I would edit myself afterwards, I was like, no, it's not for me, but I just wish that it was because I just feel like it's so easy. Hang on, let me just find, it's literally one on my wrist. <laughs> the Move With Megan tickets for the first event went live yesterday. I talked about this last week on my vlog and how I was starting a series of events called Move With Megan. They're gonna be lots of different events throughout the year, different types of movement, so different types of events as well, but different types of movement so that, you know, if your thing isn't like weightlifting, the next one might be like a run, the one after might be a class that I want to host myself. You can kind of just like go to whatever feels most suited to like the form of movement you enjoy because I'm really passionate about finding what works for you because that's the only way you're really going to let's go sit on the sofa yeah that's the only way you're really going to sort of stick to fitness is if you work out what you enjoy like some girls love pilates some people love weightlifting some people love running or you can love a bit of both but I think when you're trying to get into like a fitness routine and you're like pushing for you know weightlifting for example but you're not loving it at all then you don't have to love it if that makes sense you can find the type of movement that is like going to make you enjoy fitness but we had the first event tickets go live last night and they literally went in two minutes which is wild and 
I am so grateful that so many of you seem really up for these events and like they excite you because they it really excites me starting this new venture I guess which I want to really become like a thing. Hopefully they'll get bigger and bigger, we'll be able to go to different places in the world and I feel like it's really a way for me to be able to meet some of you and have that in-person feel which I love so much and obviously like I explained the idea came from the community from lockdown that we had through the live workouts and wanting to kind of bring that to life now and now I feel like I'm in a place where I don't feel like a hermit I'm not pregnant the other thing is is I feel like it's really going to fill my cup with teaching because I really miss teaching and during lockdown when I, we were doing those live workouts daily it was just so much fun for me as well because I just love teaching and since teaching the classes that I'm teaching on beyond again for the mum and baby classes it's like sparked something in me and I almost feel like for quite a few years when I was working with certain people I was kind of guided a little bit to go down a bit more of like the businesswoman path now I thought that that's what I wanted to do as well but I've really discovered through like I, I do love you know business <laughs> and owning businesses is great and like I love the ones that I've been lucky to create but I think it's almost like for a while it was kind of like expected that if you were a fitness influencer that you became a businesswoman and loads of them did <laughs> and loads of people do love it but I've really discovered that as I do like it but I think my heart and happiness actually comes from the teaching and that was like the foundation of where I even started before Instagram was I was a PT and I was trying to build that and then it sort of fell into this but like the teaching the fitness that is the thing that I miss and I haven't done for a long time and I'm just so excited to like start this new venture with the events I also am working on something which I really want to do on YouTube separate to this vlogging channel love love vlogging this will still continue as usual <laughs> but I wanted to create another channel actually where I had follow along workouts that was literally it where you could just go and if you wanted to do like I don't know 20 minute dumbbell lower body workout I would take you through the whole thing I also really wanted to focus on you know different stages in life you might be as a woman so if you're going through menopause, if you're on your period, if you're pregnant, if you're postpartum with a baby, there will be all these different kinds of workouts on there which you can just access and just follow along with me. And that is something that I am working on to launch very soon as well, which will be under the Move With Megan umbrella. So yeah, I just feel like a new sort of lease of life from starting this new thing and teaching again and being able to meet you guys and like do things in person and it not just be me and my camera all the time <laughs> as much as I do love that too but I just love the in person and bringing it to real life because social media is social media and sometimes it does get tiring and lonely and just like mentally tiring I mean it's great but then it's not sometimes too anyway that was a really long-winded chat this vlog is probably really long already I'm really sorry this is <laughs> I just have been really sort of thinking about what I want to do next and the events launching have just sort of reignited a, a spark and like the path I actually want to take and my heart is in. I love teaching workouts, I absolutely love it and that is where I began and I did kind of slow down on that. I can't remember why, it wasn't sort of a conscious decision but I was sort of led to and I thought as well, I'm not blaming anybody, to go down the businesswoman path, focus on the businesses. I think I was missing this part, the teaching, the workouts, the in-person part, which I didn't feel like I had any space for, but we're making space this year. <laughs> Hello. Did you have a little snack? Okay. Can I have a cuddle, please? Uh, Can I have a cuddle? Uh, Can I have a cuddle? Uh, Can I have a cuddle? I've got you a present downstairs. Shall we have a look? Mummy kiss. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Guys, when do they start cuddling you back? I'm waiting for the day. Oh, I just love you. You're so smushy. Let's 
special something for you to play in and climb up because you love a climb, don't you, Bob? My gosh, what is this? So this is the little wedge. expression she does at the moment are too much. Right, me and Winna are just about to make some breakfast cookies. So this is from Mal's cookbook. <laughs> but Winnie actually really likes these too. So I'm actually thinking I might add in a couple of raisins. I don't know if you have ever had the, you know, like the bakery cookies you get from the supermarket in like the little bag and there's usually four or five of them. The chocolate chip ones, I mean, are just the double chocolate chip ones are my absolute favorite, but they do also have these cinnamon and raisin ones. And I just thought, just to mix it up, because we do make these a lot, because I love them. They're the breakfast, the preferable breakfast cookies. Hang on, let me just show you these ones. So they're very like dense with goodness and they're quite filling. So they're just like a really good breakfast to have on the go or if you're just in a rush in the house, whatever. I thought that I would mix it up and maybe try a slightly adjusted recipe for a change. We've got some raisins. I might do raisins and chocolate. Although I think when Wynne has a little bit of these, I'll probably take these out because I'm just not sure. I don't know actually, because they're, they're not supposed to have grapes, are they? Because of choking, but I'm not sure on raisins because raisins are shriveled up grapes, but I'll have a read. Maybe um, she might still be a little bit young for them, so I might take them out. But we're gonna pop them in, and then we've got some cinnamon, peanut butter, bananas, and oats. And that's literally all we need, it's so easy. You could do this in the air fryer, but I think we're gonna just pop them in the oven. One sec, I'm just gonna get something to see if Winnie will sit with me while I do this, wait there. So, we've got this seat, right? Which she loved when she was like quite young and she was trying to, sit up a little bit and now she moves about and just can do more and is more sort of mobile she she just kind of stopped loving it and stopped using it but i have seen a lot of people use them for like on surfaces obviously completely accompanied 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 supervised <laughs> obviously completely supervised because otherwise it would not be safe at all but just like so they can be at your level. I feel like it's just nice because she can kind of just watch me do this. <laughs> she might not love it, so she might just want to go and play on the floor. But if she likes it, oh, it's like she's in a little spaceship. <laughs> Yucky, where's daddy's recipe? Would you like to have a bit of banana, baby? Go to bed. Oh, oh dears, oh dears, we dropped it. There you go. So cute, she's actually watching while I do this. I love it. I feel for this moment all my life when to actually bake with my baby. <laughs> okay, cookies are ready. So we've got two for me, two for Niall, one for baby Win in the middle, how cute. I'm just gonna top the top of ours with a couple more raisins, a couple more chopped chips, just so they look super yummy. And I think I might just dust on a teeny bit more. 
quite scared of how fast it's gonna come out. Bit more cinnamon just to give him. I'll give Wynn a little bit more cinnamon too because she does like her cinnamon. I'm gonna pop this in the oven for 10 minutes and we will taste test when they're done. Two, one, taste test. Mmm. <laughs> so those raisins added in. Good, isn't it, Wim? It's a verdict. Good? <laughs> oh, you're so cute. These two have become best friends recently. It is. Oh, not on the mouth, baby. It's so adorable. <laughs> he just goes up and kisses her all the time. And she usually. Oh, she didn't do it just then. I'll, I'll slot in a little clip of this video I got of them <laughs> earlier this week. And every time you like came near, she'd go. Straight biscuit now. I literally can't cope. Biscuit's so gentle with her, it's so adorable. She just like goes to stroke them all the time. And, oh, I think he's had enough now, baby. <laughs> oh, look at this little fluff ball. He is just so sweet, aren't you? You're so gentle with your baby sister. You're such a good boy. I just realised I didn't ever show you what I was talking about earlier that I brought home on my birthday night. <laughs> what are the chances of me finding him <laughs> on my birthday? So if you haven't ever done Bongo's Bingo, basically you can win prizes. Also, if you haven't done Bongo's Bingo and you want like a fun night out, definitely go. They do them like everywhere, I think. But my friend suggested to do it because they have it quite a lot up north, I think. And it was so much fun, but you can win prizes. <laughs> I won an air fryer, but some other guy won this. And <laughs> I basically went and found him in like the crowd of people at the end, see if he'd trade and he would. <laughs> I don't know what they were doing with him though, because he is quite bent, but we still managed to make him sad, but um... Yeah, he now lives in our kitchen. He has done for a few weeks now, and Niall is very disturbed by it. <laughs> it is actually a bit creepy because he does stand up in the corner, and sometimes when you're in the kitchen in the night, it looks like someone is watching you. <laughs> there is no one else like want to be watching me, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was so cute. <laughs> That's how you give kisses. That's how you give kisses. <laughs> the amount of washing we have these days is criminal. It is mental how much more you have when you have a baby, as I'm sure you guys will know if you have babies, but I'm just going to sort out the washing. <laughs> thrilling I know but actually what I wanted to do while I fold in the washing so I've been meaning to do this for ages but I don't know if you remember if you watched my vlogs when I was like nesting just before I gave birth I did quite a lot of organize or organize <laughs> organization in these drawers it looked so nice it's actually not too bad considering but it's got a little bit more on the messy side and I also want to replace these little tags obviously not relevant anymore so i'd be look newborn naught to three she's now in her six to nine month era <laughs> in case you're wondering as well these dividers were from amazon and they are brilliant because they can sort of fit to lots of different sizes and it just like slots in so i've got them in every bit this bit's still not too bad i have a bit of a zhuzh up this one's quite hectic down here as well so I just want to make it look really nice if I can I think my little label makers up here this is another really good little gadget that I got off Amazon where is it oh my god guys it's my tens machine which I had during labor oh that takes me back here it is so this is it it's brilliant this one it's just uh I think it was maybe like 10 pounds from Amazon but it just connects to an app on my phone so if you're like labeling, do you know what? <laughs> Another reason I think that I was in the mood to do this today is because I've started watching Stacey Solomon's uh, program, Sort Your Life Out on BBC, and love it. It's just so satisfying. If you've never watched that program, watch it. 
because it's also just really wholesome and like Stacey Solomon is one of my favorite people online she is just so lovely I always think like her kids are so lucky to have her as their mum like she is such a babe but she does loads of like crazy sort of organizations of people's houses who have just clutter absolutely everywhere and um, one thing they always do in it is things like this. I'd love to do it in like my wardrobe as well. I'll link it in the description box. I'm so bad at linking things, aren't I? So I'll link that, but it just connects to an app and it, I thought it was gonna be really annoying and difficult to set up, but it wasn't. So I'd highly recommend. Okay, we're done and I feel like it looks so much better so we've updated our labels I don't know why I ever did like the age range it just makes more sense for it to just say sleep suit vest bodysuit shorts socks over there all nice and neat and then this one's pretty similar and then on the bottom one we have blankets and miscellaneous <laughs> some random bits, a little red book, and this is a little travel box. This is so good, by the way, if you haven't heard of it. <laughs> the rocket, which makes your pram rock. Yeah, that is that. Nice and organized, isn't it, baby? She's had an absolute party on the floor playing with all of the clothes, and particularly the phone and the camera are favorites, aren't they? The deep breathing, so cute. Right, Wynn's having a nap, and I am getting on with the final touches to the hybrid workout program, which I mentioned in the last video, and it was actually really good to get some feedback on if it was gonna be a thing that you'd like to see, and I was really pleased that so many of you were really interested in the weightlifting running hybrid program. It's coming, it's close, it's almost finished. I'm just gonna finish up now some final bits that need to be done on it, some little like write-ups on the description of each session, blah, blah, blah. But I'm really, really excited because I feel like we haven't done anything like this in Beyond. And obviously when I write the programs for the app, I always want it to come from, you know, my knowledge and like, my speciality which is weightlifting however i have been learning about running i'm not a running coach <laughs> it's not like a you know serious running program or anything like that to you know get you ready for a marathon however it's a really good way to integrate running into your weightlifting as well and you know if you are starting out and you really want to get into it you don't know how to mix it in then this program is going to be perfect i'm really excited to get it out there it'll be out in the next few weeks so yeah, the other thing which I did notice some of you writing in the comment section of that video when I was talking about Beyond was, can you show what the app actually looks like within it? So, do you know what? I never ever do this. I don't know why, I just always feel like, I don't know, I don't want to bore people watching my vlogs with going on about Beyond or Bluey, but I don't want to just shove it in your face all the time. But I am super, super proud of this app and just like how much is in it now and how many different things are in it now. Like I've been building on it since January 2021 is when we dropped it. So it's, it's getting on, it's getting old. <laughs> I mean, not really, but it's been around a while and I feel like we've done so much to the app in terms of like development and I mean I obviously don't do any of the coding or any of the crazy tech stuff. I've got a team that do that who are brilliant but all of like the ideas of what goes into the app and like the different areas that you can get in the app I come up with and I feel like it's just the perfect hub to put in your pocket that is gonna just keep you feeling healthy, happy and yeah, there's just so many different things in there now. I'll just give you a very quick show. So this is the workout section. So you have all your different programs. There's home, there's gym, there's pregnancy. Um, there's sections down here of classes as well. So follow along workouts. A little bit like I was explaining earlier. We actually do have quite a lot of strength ones within the app, which I have filmed over the years. But then there are also 
pregnancy ones, so things to do with your pelvic floor and strengthening in it and stretching in each trimester. There's Pilates with our Pilates instructor Katie and then we've got a whole yoga section with Emily and all different classes on there so you can do you know yoga, Pilates, you've got your strength, you've got your pregnancy and gradually I really want to build on a bit like I was talking about with the YouTube channel where I hope we'll eventually have something in there to help you track your cycle and then also hand in hand be able to know what kind of workouts to do depending on where you are in your cycle when your energy levels are higher and lower etc that is something I'm working on and wanting to get in by the end of the year it's just quite a big thing to do we've got all our food so all these different recipes you can follow and you can make a shopping list if you just add whatever meals you want to your planner. We've got a whole chat section where you can chat to people. We've got a self-love section where there's podcast episodes you can listen to on there. There's audios of like short little sort of motivational things. If you're like struggling to get out of bed or get to the gym some days or you're feeling like you're struggling with your relationship with food or anxiety in the gym. There's lots of little boosts in there that you can listen to as like really short little kind of podcast and then we've got like your journal where you can fill out your mood and how much water you're drinking something you're grateful for that day there's loads of different areas <laughs> I don't want to go on too much but I am super super proud of just how much we've developed the app and how I feel like it's just the perfect little tool to have in your pocket. I'm pretty sure almost all of the users are women so it's a very female based app and I love that because I feel like as I was growing up I hated exercise and I really wanted when I started to love weightlifting and then became a PC I really was passionate about trying to encourage women that they could do it too and it wasn't just for men and likewise what I was talking about in the last video I really want to encourage Win as she's growing up that it's fun and it's a positive thing and it's not just for boys yeah it's just something I'm really really passionate about and really want to put into all my work this year is that kind of messaging particularly for the gals <laughs> anyway <laughs> also I know I've got sunglasses on all of a sudden it is sunny right now which is lovely I feel like I want to go in the garden oh I might actually take my laptop in the garden I haven't done that in so long but the reason I actually have sunglasses on is not because of that, it's because I was filming TikTok because I just opened this parcel I ordered. Well, look at this top, guys. It's from IMG. -a. And I got my baby shower dress from there, the pink one, which you may have seen when it was my baby shower, but I also wore it recently on holiday and it still fits fine because these IMG -a items are super stretchy. So, yeah, it's, I just love them and I love the back. And then I saw this top and I was like, oh my gosh love it and I this one's a little bit more plain whereas the pink one's got like quite a jazzy pattern on it and it's a dress so I thought this would go with so many things it just made me think like you know beer gardens springs in the air can't wait to just be able to sit outside you know that like sunny evening feel oh I just love it I'm so excited there was one other parcel actually I'm quickly gonna open up which I got myself from a brand called aloe yoga so i got myself a snazzy exercise mat because my one is not looking its finest down in the gym <laughs> thought i'd like to get myself a really nice one particularly when i get into creating this youtube channel where i'll be filming a few follow alongs a week but i love this um rosy colour. Gorgeous. And actually, when I was on the website, oh, <laughs> I saw this little claw clip. Because I am constantly wearing claw clips these days. And I've wanted to get myself like a tortoise shell one for a while. But I just haven't got around to it. And I saw this one on there. Which I thought was lovely. But yeah. Anyway, I'm going to get on with my writing and I will catch up with you guys probably later to be honest because I have quite a bit that I need to get on top of while when sleeping and um, I'm also feeling the cold now when I was giving Win her lunch just before she had a nap 
I was just sat there like, oh, I'm feeling it, you know, like as the day goes on when you're not fully that well, <laughs> it just gets worse and worse as the day goes on and then it's night time and like the whole block nose just comes back. Splash, I was taking a bath along about Saturday night. Rub dab, just farting in the tub. This guy's gold. Just needs some of the clouds to budge. <laughs> you can see a bit though. It's just. Yeah, that's what I mean. Did you say gorge? Be gorge. Like be gorge. Yeah, imagine if all those clouds were there, it'd be gorge. 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 Oh, she looks so happy. Which tea are you? Me or Niall? It's all about the the pale Earl Grey with a bit of sugar in versus the, the sleek tea. How boring. Anyway, we are taking up our goodies to bed. Got a whisper. Hello, little boy. You having some dreamies before bed? Come on in. Do you want the dreamy? Good boy. Got some hobnobs. I think Niall's got a cream egg. Cream eggs are just unbelievable, aren't they? Cheers, hun. Look how much better my tea looks than yours. What are we? There's two of types grey. of people in this world. <laughs> it's not grey. You're putting it in your glass one this time. It's ill grey, mate. Yeah, I do. Um, it looks weird. It, in look, glass, it looks good it? in the glass. Glass no, mug. Try a glass mug. It looks like a grey sort of weird. Anyway, we're gonna go upstairs and watch the new maths episode because it is heating up, isn't it? The preview is good. The preview is good. We just watched yesterday's down here. But we're gonna go up and- well, It's only because I want to be, we want to be proven right that that guy's a knobhead. What's his name again? Jack. Jack. Oh, he's, oh, if any of you are watching Golden it. Jack. Actually, Alpha, any- Alpha male Oh, Jack. he's, no, he's actually a douche, <laughs> but Anybody in Australia, I think they're ahead of us, so they must, don't give us any spoilers, but are you ahead? But anyway, it is, I, a, it is Australian after all. Gonna love you and leave you. Thank oh, you so much. For, <laughs> thank Look you so that. much for watching. I hope that's you enjoyed not, the vlog. I'm just carry them all by the way, it's not like some sort of weird fashion <laughs> statement. Gonna <laughs> love you and leave you, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys are all okay. And I will hopefully see you in my next one. I look like I've been dragged for a bush. I don't know what is going on. Yeah, I hope to see you in my next one very, very soon.